Oh look, it's a star! Isn't that amazing? Alright, so this is going to be a tutorial or walkthrough on how to solve the axis cube. So as you can see, I've already scrambled it, and if you did not know yet, that uh, these are the centers here, these are the edges, and these are the corners. Now the good thing about this shape-shifting 3x3 is that there's no parity, so that that doesn't make its difficulty as high as some other shape-shifting puzzles. So I would rate this as a medium difficulty shape-shifting puzzle. So it's not easy, it's not hard, it's in the middle. And it all comes down to the last layer. So I'm going to start off by finding a center. I'm going to start with this center and I'm going to build my cross. So that involves uh, connecting the uh, center pieces. So what do we have here? Try to find my first piece. I'm going to start with blue here. It's going to link these two together right here. So blue, blue, blue. So I'm going to get it connected with that. And I'm going to rotate this around. Make sure that you get your uh, center pieces correct from the beginning. So that's what you want to get. Next, I would think, so I'm going to rotate it. You would want a solid white piece to link these two together. So I'm going to connect it. This might be a little challenging, but it's not too hard. There it is. Put it down there, and there it is. Next one, let's see. It'll probably be ah, white and green. Since we have let's get we have white here and green there. So we got this one right here matched up with that. And I'm gonna put it oh darn. Actually this is not the right piece. Hmm. It can be a real bugger sometimes. Actually, it is the right piece. I just need to change it around. go and it's still not right ah darn this thing so hmm it actually be red and white that's gonna fit down here so this make this will test out your patience there we go there's that one and it lines up Next one would be the yellow and yellow and red. So there it is. Let's get in there. There we have it. Line it up. Make sure the cross is correct. And there we have it. We have the cross. Now, next would be the corner pieces. So I'm going to sexy move that in there. And there we have it. Next one. Red one right here. Insert it. Okay, next one would be a sharp white one. And I'm just going to insert it like. No, not like that. Just sexy move it in there. No big hurries. There it is. Next one will be a three color piece. And it will be, where are you? It's around here somewhere. Oh gosh. Where are you? Is it white and blue? Ah, oh, there it is. Pay attention.
There you go. Got the first layer done. Now to insert these pieces. Okay. It's got red. It's going to go right here. Next one, I'm going to do yellow and blue. It's going to go down here. Next one is all orange. So it should be this one. Okay, last one should be white and green. Okay. Stop frustrating me, please. Okay, first two layers are done. Now it's the real challenge of the axis cube. What you want to do is try. I'd like to make the cross first, and the way to organize, or I mean, to recognize your your OLL is to line up these all these pieces to see if they're matching. So we got one right here, one, two, and these two. So what we have here is the L. So I'm gonna do two sexies with this. I did something wrong. Not to be worried. Uh, backtrack again. Just got one. Where was it? Okay, got one, two, these two, three, and four. So that's right. So we have the cross now. Now to check the rest of the pieces, We've got the corners. Got one, so just the one, this piece, one, so we just have one. I'm just, I'm going to do a soon for the three corners. Okay, so I still got one. This. I'm going to do another soon. There we go. Now this is all oriented. As you can tell, I have just these three pieces left. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a, an apron. Pretty simple. So keep track of the pieces. All right, I do admit that was pretty easy PLL. So now let's say if you have something that involves a U perm, I'm going to show you. So if you do something with a U perm, what's going to happen is you're going to have the piece on your right or left or whatever, it's gonna it's gonna rotate the centerpiece. So if that ends up happening, just keep doing the U perm over and over again with the piece on the same side. So I'm gonna do U Alright, let's do another U perm. And just keep doing the same one over and over. Okay, just keep on doing it.
Usually, you wouldn't have to do it this much. There we go. So, what I was saying with the, uh, when you do your PLO, just make sure you do it uh, to look. It's uh, it's much better that way. I mean, if, if you can do it, like more advanced than every PLO, that's just fine. But you just might run into uh, rotating those, those center pieces. So, that's pretty much it. Conclusion of this tutorial. And this axis cube is not that hard. Uh, look, there's that star again. Alright, thank you for watching.